Hey guys, welcome to vtchacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about types of sets. So here we are going to discuss this topic in complete three sections. So first we are going to revise the concept of sets and then we are going to discuss about description of sets and then we are going to learn about the different types of sets. So first coming to the introduction of the sets. We already know a set is a well defined collection of objects. So here the objects are nothing but the elements of a set. Now let me explain this concept with the help of an example over here. So here we have the example as the set of multiples of 6. And now let us name the set A and write the multiples of 6. So here we have the multiples of 6 as 0, 6, 12, 18, 24 and then so on. So here we call these numbers as the elements of the set which are written in a row and then separated by the commas and enclosed in the braces. As the set contains the multiples of 6 we can write here x such that x is the multiples of 6. And now coming to the next example, here we have P is the set of all the prime numbers less than 10. So here let us write the prime numbers which are less than 10, 2, 3, 5, 7. So here we can write this in a set builder form as x such that x is the set of prime numbers and where x is less than 10. And now coming to the next section, here we are going to discuss about description of sets. So here we can write the set in two forms, roster form and the set builder form. Now first let me explain about roster form. So in this method all the elements of a set are written in a row and then separated by the commas and enclosed with the braces. So here we have the example as A is a set of elements consisting the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8. So let us write here the set A with the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8. And here in this method a set is described by some common property to all the elements. So here we have an example B is a set of all the even natural numbers. So here in the set builder form we represent all the even natural numbers with the common letter x and we can write this in a set builder form as x such that x is an even natural numbers and here we represent this to write such that and now let us discuss about types of sets. So first here we have a finite set and here a set that has a finite number of elements is called a finite set. So here we have an example in which the elements of the set x are 1, 3, 7, 9 and we observe that the elements are the odd natural numbers that are less than 10. As here the set consists of a finite number of elements we call it as a finite set. And now let me explain about infinite set. So here a set that has the infinite number of elements is called as infinite set. For example here we have the set y and the elements of the set y are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then so on. So we observe that it is a set of whole numbers. As here in this set there are infinite number of elements we call it as a infinite set. And now let us discuss about equal set. So here a equal set can be defined as two sets A and B are the equal if and only if every element in A belongs to B and every element in B belongs to A. So let me explain this concept with the help of an example. So here we have the set A and the elements of the set A are 1, 4, 9, 16 so on. And we have the set B in which the elements are 1, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square and so on. 
so we can write this set as 1 comma and here 2 square is 4 comma 3 square is 9 comma 4 square is 16 and so on so here we observe that the elements of the set a belongs to b and the elements of the b belongs to a so we say that the both the sets are equal that is a is equal to b and now let me explain about equivalent set so here two sets a and b are said to be a equivalent set if they have same number of elements so here we have an example a as a set of the numbers 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and we have the set b with the elements p comma q comma r comma s and now let us find the cardinality of both the sets and here in the set a as the number of elements are 4 we get the cardinal number of a set as 4 and here in the set b the cardinal number of a set b is 4 as it contains the 4 elements so here we observe that the cardinality of both the sets are equal so we call this set as a equivalent set and now let us discuss about a null set so here a null set is defined as a set with no elements in it so here we have an example c is the set of the integers between 2 and 3 so we already know that there are no elements between 2 and 3 so here we get an empty set and we call this type of a set as a null set and here we represent this symbol to write a null set so here we have the next type of a set as a subset so here a set b is called as a subset of a if and only if every element of a is also an element of b and now let me explain this with the help of an example so here we have the set a with the elements 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 and so on and here we have the elements in the set b as 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8 and so on so here the elements of b belongs to the set a so we say that b is a subset of the set a and here we have the next set as a proper subset so here a proper subset can be defined as a set y subset to x and when y is not equal to x then we'll call y is the proper subset of x and now let us consider an example here we have the set x with the elements 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 and we have the set y with the elements 2 comma 3 comma 4 here we observe that every element of y that is 2 comma 3 comma 4 is also an element of x therefore we call y is a subset of x and here further we note that there are two more elements that are in x and not in y they are 1 and 5 and then we call y is not equal to x as the elements of y are not in x so in such cases we call y is a proper subset of x and now let us discuss about a power set so here a power set is a set of all the subset of a set so here we have the elements of the set a as 1 comma 2 comma 3 and the number of elements in this set are 3 now let us write the subset of this set a so we already know that the empty set that is a null set is a subset of any other set and we also know that every set is a subset to itself so here the set a 1 comma 2 comma 3 will be a subset of this set and now let us write the other subset of the set a so we have the other subset as 1 2 and the set 3 and the set 1 comma 2 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 1 so here we have total 8 subset of the set A and we can represent 8 as 2 cube 
and here these three represent the number of elements in the set. So we can say here, if there are n elements in a set, the number of subset of that set is 2 power n. And now let us discuss about universal set. So here a universal set can be defined as the set containing all the objects or the elements and of which all the other sets are the subsets. Now let us consider a set V and the elements in the set V are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 so on. So here from this set we can write the set of natural numbers which starts from 1. So here we get 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on as a set of natural numbers. And we can also write here the set of even numbers. So here the elements in this set will be 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. And further we can write the set of odd natural numbers which starts from 1 and we get the elements here as 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. So hence the set V is a universal set as it contains all the other sets as the subsets. So here a universal set can be represented by these symbols. And now let us discuss about disjoint sets. So here two sets A and B are called as disjoint sets if they have no common elements in it. So here we have a set of even numbers and a set of odd natural numbers. So we observe that there are no common elements in both the sets. So we get here E intersection O as a null set that is an empty set. We call such sets as the disjoint sets. So this was basic introduction on types of sets. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtshakademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.